Hi, welcome back to our channel. My name is Alonzo. Today we're going to be covering 15 interesting facts about Panama. But before getting into the video, we want to remind you all again that we still have the pre-launch phase for our Panama Relocation online course. So if you're interested, you can scan the QR code that is on your screen. Here are some of the benefits to our course. We're going to provide for you 40 plus instructional videos as well as downloadable PDFs that are going to seamlessly execute your move. We have step-by-step -step residency visa document preparation process. You're going to learn how to organize and structure your exploratory trips for maximum efficiency. So we're going to give you also some tours that you can go on, you can book on your own. We're going to also provide you tours which are multiple day tours should you decide to book something like that. We're going to also give you itineraries of what your day is going to look like in terms of which days you need to meet with your immigration lawyer on to execute your uh, temporary visa process and which days you're going to have free. So we're going to teach you how to uh, most efficiently utilize that time. You're going to be able to work with top immigration lawyers, realtors, tax professionals, as well as health professionals to understand Panama's health care system. All of this is going to ease your stress and anxiety while learning to avoid costly mistakes. Also, all of our students will be part of a community for support and encouragement where I'll also be an active participant in that. So what you're also going to get is increased access to me through this course. Uh, so we encourage you all to take advantage of the pre-launch pricing while you still can. The time to act again is now. So also wanted to recognize our sponsor, which is Apostle USA. So if you have documents that you need to have Apostle, this is a great service that they have. They utilize what's called a true copy apostle, which is a digital apostle. So it's a form of apostle where a custodial certificate is added to the document and notarized. This allows them to get the document apostle lightning fast using a copy of the document which you upload during your order process, which is very, very easy and seamless as you can see here. So if you are interested in that service, you can also scan the QR code that is on your screen. And so with that, let's get into the video of the 15 interesting facts about Panama. So number 15, the number 15 interesting fact about Panama is that they still have a huge majority of full service gas stations. This is one of those things I just love. You know, I love you can pull in a gas station don't have to worry about anything. They'll, you know, wipe your windshield. They'll even do the back of the window. You know, put air in your tires if you want. It's full service. You don't have to give them anything extra for that. But I usually will tip them, you know, a couple of dollars um, for the service. And it's great. You know, the only time it's not great is when we go back to the U.S. We just recently made a trip. And then we even made a trip uh, in the winter time last winter when I was quickly reminded of not really having access to that service. And I just, you know, just really forgot all about pumping gas, especially uh, out in the cold, you know. So it's a great service that they still have. Um, as I've said in other videos, in some cases being in Panama, it's kind of like going back in time. So this is just one of those instances where it's great to be able to go back in time, you know, to have a service like this. Number 14. The number 14 interesting fact about Panama is that it is illegal for men to not wear a shirt in public. Of course, women also, you know, women are gonna to need to be covered up, but um, unless you're at the beach, it's not legal. And this is something that I just found out a few months ago, and I just had to stop and think about it. I said, hmm, really, I don't really see, you know, people out shirtless, you know, like back at home. You know, you, you have a lot of people that'll go out for a jog, you know, or whatever, and you know, being shirtless, you know, say back in the US at least, I'm not sure about, you know, in Europe and in Canada, some of these other countries, but in the U.S., it's not a thing at all to see everybody out shirtless. Um, but in Panama, it is against the law. So uh, it's just one interesting fact that I wanted to share with you all that I found out. So number 13, the number 13 interesting fact about Panama is that the police don't chase you during a traffic stop. This is so interesting. So most of the time they operate on motorcycles. They do have cars, but most of the time 
Uh, the traffic cops will be on a motorcycle. They're posted up on the side of the road. You have a very difficult time seeing them, you know, with, with the curves, the hills, the mountains, the brush, because it's not a car, it's a motorcycle. And so oftentimes they will have clocked you long before you see them. So, you know, by the time you're rolling up to them, what they're gonna do is they're gonna step out into the middle of the highway, they're gonna point at you, and they're gonna tell you, hey, you pull over. And they aren't gonna chase you. You're gonna pull over, you're gonna stop, you're gonna back up to where they are, and then, you know, <laughs> the rest is history. So um, it's just very interesting how it's done here. I think they're able to really do this because of the speed limit being so much lower than in the States. Normally a speed limit may be maximum, you know, usually around 60 miles an hour. A lot of times you're going to be going slower than that and you'll still be over the speed limit. So you do have still have some time to be able to stop. It's not like you back in the States or Canada and you just floating by at like 80, 85 miles an hour, like, you know, and they have to come out and chase you. So um, that's just not really the way it works here. And I just found it very interesting, especially the first time that it happened to me. Number 12, the number 12 interesting thing about Panama, and this may not be a thing so much in the city, but I think in a lot of other areas outside of the city is there's nothing for you to see various animals out and about in the street and walking around while you're out driving or walking. I mean, the why the chicken cross the road joke, I mean, that's like every day. Multiple times a day, you see families of chickens cross the road in front of you. You see a duck, you know, you see lizards, you might see a snake. You can see like some cows, you know, see horses. You know, it's pretty, you know, it's just pretty interesting. Um, if you're in some you know, mountainous areas, you may even see an animal called a capybara. If you haven't heard of this thing, it's one of the largest rodents in the world. And if I ever see one, I'm running. You know, I haven't seen one of those yet. But, you know, they do have signs for those in certain areas. And, um, you know, it'd just be a, a sight to see if you did see one of those. But they do have capybara crossing signs um, <laughs> on some roads. So if you get a chance, you know, Google this thing. I'll show you a picture of it here, but uh, it's a very, very interesting animal, and I don't even want to see one. So number 11, the number 11 interesting fact about Panama is that marriage is defined in their constitution as being between a man and a woman. So it's not like in most countries where it's just a law on the books or something like that. This is actually written in their constitution because Panama is about 85% Catholic, um, so it's a very conservative country, and I just found it interesting that this law was actually in their constitution. Number 10, the number 10 interesting fact about Panama, and this is one we recently found out here in the 2023 census, is that 33% of Panamanians identify as Afro-descendants. So this number is up from about 16% in the 2010 census. We showed you um, in our last video that the government put out a short video to the people to kind of get them to understand what being Afro-descendant is, and that regardless of whether they call themselves any of these other names, you know, Moreno, which is brown, Negro, uh, Afro-Descendiente, or Afro-Panamanio, or whatever, that you know, they're all black people, and they needed to put that on the census. And so now, uh, Panama's population of Afro-descendants is about 33%. That is um, only exceeded, I mean, outside of you know, outside of all black Caribbean nations like Jamaica and et cetera, you know, you're only really looking at uh, countries like Brazil and maybe Cuba, you know, in the Western world or anywhere outside of Africa that exceed that percentage. So um, it's a very, very interesting fact now that just recently came to light. And it's something that you can see, you know, your eyes tell you when you're walking around. Number nine, the number nine interesting fact about Panama is that you can swim in two oceans in the same day. So you can start your day off in Cologne, you can jump in the Caribbean Sea or the Atlantic Ocean on that side of the country, and then you can drive a short hour, hour and 10 to 15 minutes to the beach on the other side. Uh, you can go to Playa Vera Cruz and jump in the Pacific Ocean all within about an hour and a half. So not even within the same day, but just within a couple of hours, you can swim in two oceans. So that's an interesting fact about Panama. Another interesting fact about Panama, again, this is lending um, itself to its conservative nature, is that abortion is illegal 
unless it was via a rape or uh, life-threatening to the mother. So that's just another interesting fact that we found recently that we wanted to share um, with you. <clears throat> Number seven. Number seven interesting fact about Panama is that it is illegal to back into a parking space in front of a bank. Now, when you think about this, you know, it does make sense. But when it happens to you for the first time, it's just really like, you're like, what the heck is going on? You know, I'm just parking a car because each one of these banks has one or two security guards out there in the front. And so I know when I had one of them approach me one time since so I parked the car, I went to jump out of the car and I didn't know what the heck was going on. But when you think about it, it makes sense. So, you know, if somebody's coming to try to rob the bank, they don't want you to make a quick getaway. So apparently it is illegal to, to back into a parking space in front of a bank. Number six. The number six interesting fact about Panama is that the Panama hat was founded in Ecuador. Believe it or not, this hat was made in Ecuador. It did not sell very well. Uh, the people who made the hat, they ended up migrating to Panama. They tried to sell it here. It took off and it just started being called the Panama hat. It's a world famous Panama hat. Um, and that's pretty much the story with that. The Panama hat, what you see and what's known as the Panama hat, was founded in Ecuador. So that's another interesting fact. Number five. The number five interesting fact about Panama is that you can buy a live chicken right in front of your house. Now again, you know, if you're in a city, probably can't do this one, but in most other areas um, outside of the city, you can do this. Like, you know, in our neighborhood, uh, there's guys that drive around, they make these announcements, you know, on a megaphone, you can't understand what they're saying. They're like, no, 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 no. No, I'll let you check it out. So even though these particular guys weren't selling chickens, you know, sometimes they'll come around collecting scrap metal. They may come around selling vegetables or whatever, but sometimes you may see a truck, maybe it has a, a chicken coop on top of it, um, and they'll go around and make that announcement or whatever, and you can come out of your house and buy a live chicken. So just another interesting fact uh, we decided to put in here about Panama. So the number four interesting thing about Panama is that the Panama Canal was almost built in Nicaragua. Can you believe that? So what happened is that, you know, Nicaragua was really the favorite to get the canal. And the U.S. Senate, you know, was voting on this. In Panama, there was a legislator who, of course, you know, wanted to sway them toward doing this in Panama. So he wrote all of the U.S. legislators a letter and he included a stamp on the letter, and I'll show you the stamp here, um, basically it's got like a volcano on it. It's a, it's a stamp, a Nicaraguan stamp that has a volcano on it, reminding all of them how many more volcanoes that Nicaragua has in Panama, because of course Panama has no active volcanoes. Nicaragua has several. And so of course this was able to sway uh, the people to change their minds. So they're like, hey, why should we build this canal in an area with all of these active volcanoes, you know? And even on top of that, it makes more sense to have built it in Panama anyway. Panama is an isthmus. It's a narrow strip of land. You know, it's about 38 miles wide at its shortest point. So it was going to be a much easier task to get this done in Panama versus trying to do it in Nicaragua anyway. So they definitely made the right decision regardless. The number three interesting fact about Panama is that you can see two oceans at the same time. So if you're standing on top of Vulcan Baru, which is near Boquete in Cherokee province, you can look to one side and see the Caribbean Sea or the Atlantic Ocean on a clear day. And you can turn right around and look at the Pacific Ocean from the top of Vulcan Baru, which is about 11,300 feet in altitude. So that's a very, very interesting thing about Panama. Number two, the number two interesting thing about Panama is its national bird, which is the harpy eagle. Not that the harpy eagle is its national bird, but what's interesting is that this bird is huge. 
It's huge, y'all. Look at these pictures. I mean, if I ever see one of these things, I'm, I'm, I'm running. Like, I haven't seen one yet, but I already told my wife, if you see it, hey, we out. You know, don't even think about it. We got to get out of here because I just cannot imagine seeing a bird this huge in person. You know, I know you have like things like an ostrich with the big fat body or whatever. But no, this thing looked like an actual bird and it could fly and all of that. And it's huge. So I just found it very interesting when I found that out. I know that eagles can be some big birds by, you know, the U.S. national bird being the bald eagle. You know, which is a good, you know, it's a good sized bird. But this thing is just unbelievable. And I just, I pray that I never see one. Uh, so... The number one interesting fact about Panama is that you can see the sun rise over the Pacific Ocean and set over the Atlantic Ocean. And this is the only place in the world where you can do this. And it's because of Panama's unique geography by it being in the shape of an S. It's a shallow S that's laid on its side. So on one side you have, you know, the Bay of Panama on the Pacific Ocean side. And then to the north you have the Caribbean Sea or the Atlantic Ocean. And so because of the direction the sun comes in at and because Panama has this curved shape, it is possible for you to see the sun rise over the Pacific Ocean and set over the Atlantic Ocean, which again, you cannot see anywhere else on Earth. And so <clears throat> we have a couple of bonus uh, interesting facts for you. So one interesting bonus fact, which probably should have actually been on the list is Panama's allowable blood alcohol level. Guess what it is? Zero. Point zero zero is Panama's allowable blood alcohol level. So you just have to be very careful. If you go out to eat or you go out with your friends, you know, and you have a couple of drinks, you know, you want to want to pump the brakes. Just be very careful. Make sure you have a designated driver. All of the same things you would follow if you are in the States, but you really want to make sure of it here because there are very, very stiff fines and penalties if you are caught in Panama drunk driving. And so the other bonus fact that we have for you here is that McDonald's still has old school apple pies. Can you believe that? The old fried apple pies, they are delicious. I mean, you get that crunchy exterior with the little bubbles on it. I mean, it's unbelievable. And like I told you all earlier, you know, some things about being in Panama are like taking a step back in time. And this is another one of those things, you know, when you think about it. And on top of that, you know, McDonald's here also has fried chicken, which is very, very delicious. So, you know, it's not even a place that I tend to frequent, but I will go on Tuesday when they have that chicken special and get us some apple pies. So, you know, with that, that pretty much wraps up the video. We want to thank you all for watching. Please do like, subscribe, share the video. Uh, also, if you're interested in our Panama Relocation online course, you can scan the QR code that is on your screen. Also, another reminder that we do have Zoom consultations available to you if you want to talk to us one-on-one uh, -on, -one on as far as your personal situation, get your questions answered. You can send us an email at chosenfewexpats at gmail.com. And with that, we will catch you all on the next one.